Now we're going to learn how to draw an object using linear perspective and it's a lot harder to draw an object from real life because what happens is that when I was demonstrating linear perspective I was drawing the objects really small so all the vanishing points fit on the page but when we're going to be drawing an, an object a box you know let's say that I'm looking at an object in two-point perspective and let's say that if I look if I put my pencil here and I look at the angle of the I look at the angle of the bottom of the box and let's say it's right there and then I'm going to set my pencil imagine my pencil at the bottom of the corner and I'm going to see is this like this is it like this is it like this where is what where is the bottom of the box and let's make pretend it's like this now if this is the top this is the bottom. Um, what happens is that by the time that I use my trusty ruler to follow the horizon, uh, follow the line and see where it, where it converges into a vanishing point, it's going right off the paper, right? So it's like way over there somewhere. Now this is because this is a very shallow this is a very shallow side and my horizon line is around about here as it turns out I think and if the diagonal is very pronounced then it is possible that the vanishing point is going that that vanishing point is going to fall on the page and so most of the time, if, especially if you're drawing an object this size, let's say you have a box and it is that size. Well, the vanishing points for this box are going to be way away to the left, to the right, and these are going to be way away over there to the left. These are going to be super far because the diagonals are very, very shallow. These are going to be closer because these diagonals are more pronounced. Now, I am going to show you one of the most common errors that people make when they are drawing boxes. People, the first thing that you want to do is you want to lay your pencil down and you want to see on the corner, you want to see what are the diagonals. And I like to think of these as the o'clocks. So this is 12 o'clock, this is about 2 o'clock or maybe it's 1.30. So that is the very first calculation that a person wants to make visually when you are drawing, when you are drawing your corners. You want to say, what o'clock is it? That's number one. And the second thing you want to notice is, well, are you looking at the top of the box? in which case we are because it's below the horizon line. Are you looking right direct, directly across at it? Or are you looking at the bottom of the box? And all the still life photographs that I gave you are either straight on or you are, most of them I believe, you're looking down at the tops. And remember that if you determine this, you have to eyeball how wide is the box on one side? How wide is it on the other? Once you eyeball that, you have to imagine that you know that 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 vanishing point that is way off the page. You have to imagine where it is. You can't you can't draw it. It's way off there. Now this one you can, so we can just draw this one right in. Okay. And um, turns out that our the, the top of the box, the, the farthest corner is going to be about here. And one way that you can find it is to find out how far, where is it? Is it going to be between these two lines? Is it going to be between these two lines? Is it closer to the one? Is it closer to the other? And how far up is it? So you figure out where this line is by finding out how far to the right or to the left it is from the corners.
from the other corners. And this is one of the most common mistakes made right after getting the ankles wrong at the bottom. The most common error is that people, you saw how very shallow the top of the box was, but people will draw the box like the top of the box like this. We'll put the corner way up here. And so then this looks as if we were, this, this is, we're looking at the top of the box from that side. And we're looking at this box from the corner. So we, we are looking at this box from a bird's eye as if we were a bird in the sky. But we're not a bird in the sky. We're actually, we're, we're, we're just a little bit higher than the box. So, so if you cannot figure out why the top of the box looks all wonky, it's probably because you have the, that, vanish, that far corner too high. Bring it down and find out how far to the right is it from one corner, how far to the left is it from the other corner. It might be between these two corners. Maybe it's not over here, maybe it's over there, you see? But you want to find out, you want to figure out where exactly is that far away corner. This makes sense. But that does not make sense. So double check yourselves always on the o'clocks at the bottom. And where exactly is this last corner? Where is it located? And make sure that you don't have it too high up.